Hi, Mike Gibson and Roxana Marin coming to you live from Sky 2018 in San Diego. Roxana, you're going to be giving the Founders Lecture. What are you going to be talking about? So first, I'm uh, so excited to be here at Sky 2018 and I've been honored to ask to give this uh, very important lecture and I'm very humbled for, to be given this incredible opportunity to address our interventional cardiologists and our members at Sky this year. and. Uh, I thought long and hard about what would I talk about because Sky is so wonderful, they just say whatever you want to talk about. And, um, and I felt that it was important uh, in this anniversary as we enter uh, hopefully the next 40 years or, of PCI and, and TAVR to kind of put that into the perspective of, yes, we've come through 40 years, but this journey has not been without evidence. And uh, really uh, very much uh, talking about the fabric of our existence as, as, an, as a subspecialty in interventional cardiology that has been completely woven by um, evidence-based medicine and incredible randomized large-scale clinical trials. But we have also been scrutinized by exactly those same evidence-based uh, trials. And so uh, what I want to do is to take everyone through this journey so that everyone understands and appreciates and is proud of the subspecialty that has come of age after 40 years with incredible devices and technologies and enhancement of uh, lives of our patients with cardiovascular disease and how I feel so wholeheartedly that um, the impact of interventional cardiology in reducing cardiovascular death over the span of the last 40 years has been incredibly significant. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be sort of the the main points. What about Very women positive. and women leading the charge in well, evidence-based medicine generation? Yes, of course. Um, in there will be a, uh, some twists and making sure that everyone understands that this journey was not delivered by just uh, men. Mm -hmm. And that while we are small in numbers, we have made huge impacts and strides in, uh, in the clinical trial arena. Uh, with uh, some of the very best and, uh, you know, important advances made by the women who have led the charge on these important clinical trials. And then I am going to take everyone through where we are today and the kind of scrutiny that is no longer just amongst us, but now to the world wide web through Twitter and uh, through the conversations that can be taken out of context, given the wrong information, especially to the patient at large who uh, the millions and millions of patients who have undergone revascularization therapies through PCI through the advances of PCI and these kinds of negative conversations perhaps even based on small trials or the sham control trial that we've all paid so much attention to in the last year or the last six months have to be tempered by the, the amount, amount of evidence that's there and how best can we use social media to give the message and uh, hopefully to enhance the progress for interventional cardiology. I think there are incredible ways and you've led the charge so you'll be in my lecture. Wow, that's kind of scary. Now last weekend, <laughs> we did use the, uh, Twitter in an uh, yes. interesting way to get some real world feedback as we were That's putting right. together this high risk bleeding kind of guidance. We were putting polls up and people were letting us know their feelings. Yeah, and I think it's great because uh, when we do, let's say, I mean, of course, guidelines and position papers, it's usually just a bunch of people sitting in a, a small room and really, really, you know, it's experts, of course, and uh, there's a lot of work done in making sure there are no conflicts and, and all of those things are taken out and we really go after the evidence base, but there's nothing better than uh, physicians' acumen, mm -hmm. those in the trenches seeing lots of patients right. and to get their input right. and then to also have the patient's input right. on what's important is going to be incredibly, right. it's going to be the next wave of how we design clinical trials, how we come up with the endpoints, mm -hmm. how we interpret those endpoints, and how we deliver the message to the world. Right. So I think it's very exciting. Well, Roxana, thank you for leading the charge. They thank couldn't you. pick I'm, a better person to deliver that, the Founders Lecture. Thank you. And uh, congratulations. Thank and you. Thanks to all of you for joining us here live from Sky 2018.